Assalamu alaikum my dear students good morning to you all welcome to science with your lecture i am your science teacher and i hope that you all are fine first of all congratulations on promoting to your new class you work hard and you did it we also welcome the new students best of luck for the new class so today our topic is environment what is environment environment is everything which is present around us everything whether it is living or non living thing which is present around us it makes up our environment it is a natural world in which all the living things live their life all the living things are those which can eat which can breathe and which can grow so these living things include animals and plants and also human beings so environment is a natural world in which all the living things live their life according to their need all the living things get food water and shelter and a place to live in their environment the environment includes place to live as we all know that all the living things need a home or a shelter to live their life without home it is not possible for a living thing to live its life so environment is a place where living thing live their life the environment also composed of people of different types the people are of different types different cultures and different countries live their life according to their needs and according to their environment so human being also include the environment the next is plant our environment also contain plant which is a very much important factor of our world plant are living thing they make their own food and they provide shelter and food to the other animal plant also give us oxygen for the living thing which help us to breathe with and the plant take in carbon dioxide which is a harmful gas for us so plants are the important factor of the environment the environment also contains birds the birds are the living thing and we get different types of food from the birds just like meat and eggs then we have fishes fishes live in water and we also eat different types of fishes as a food 
it also includes small organisms called germs germs are harmful organisms which make us fall sick our environment also consists of germs the environment is our basic life support with without our environment it is very much difficult for us to live because it consists of different type of support which help us to live the environment provides us the following thing first of all our environment provides us the air which helps us to breathe as we know that the air is a mixture of different gases for example oxygen nitrogen etc and one important gas which is very essential for all the living things is oxygen it is also present in the air and oxygen help us to breathe without oxygen it is impossible for the living things to survive the next factor is water water is the basic necessity of our life without water it is not possible for a life to survive the next is food all the living things need food to live and grow animals and plants both need food to live animals do not make their own food they get food from different types of animals and also from the plant plant are the living things which make their own food with the help of air water and sunlight the roots suck water from the soil and it is transported to different parts of the plant with the help of stem and branches the stem also supports the plant the leaves are the basic part of a plant which helps the help the plant to make their own food there is also fruit and vegetable from on the plant which we eat the next factor is the land the land is the place where all the living organisms live the environment is composed of different components the two components of the environment is living things and non living things <coughs> living things include all the animals human beings and plants the non living things are those things we do not eat we do not breathe and we do not grow so our environment have two basic components the living thing and the non living things in our natural world there are two types of environment number 1 natural environment number 2 man made environment <coughs> natural environment all things occur naturally without the human interference is called natural environment in this 
environment all the things occur naturally without any interference of human beings few examples of natural environment are lake which is present naturally and it is not made by the man then we have the next is forest forests are also a natural phenomenon which is not made by man and it is occur all uh, in nature then we have grassland which is also a natural thing then we have man made environment it is made by man for example buildings buildings are made by man by using the natural thing for example stone metal etc the next is car car is also a man made thing which is made by using the natural resources then we have the road which is also man made environment by using the natural things for example concrete and other things are used to make road so girls that's all about environment the environment is everything which is present around us it may be it is a natural world in which all the living organisms along with non living organisms live it is it also provide us different needs of life such as air water and sunlight it is of two types number 1 is natural environment and number 2 is man made environment so girls now let me tell you some inst instructions about your notebooks you all have the notebooks so you just have to write your name on your notebooks and keep them safe with you thank you girls